Hi, I'm Matt. And I'm Dave. And in this Magento 2 Basics tutorial, you're going to learn how to change the copyright footer text in Magento 2. That's right. So with that said, let's jump across to our desktop. And remember, you can follow us along in this tutorial at the same time with your Magento 2 website. So Dave, we're not actually starting in the dashboard area like we do with our other video tutorials. Just want to point out this is the text which we will be altering and I'm guessing that you've seen it also at the bottom of your Magento 2 website. Dave, can you see down here copyright 2015? So it's a year out of date or it could be several years out of date if you're watching this on YouTube at a much later date. Hello future. <laughs> Hello future for it is that you want to change this text down here at the bottom. The good news is this is dead easy to do. So let's jump across to our dashboard. You'll want to nip down to stores and then from the pop out menu, click on configuration. Then underneath the general option, you'll want to click on design and then expand the footer option. So you can click anywhere on this row or click the little down arrow on the right hand side. And Dave, there is our copyright text. Now we're not going to be that exciting. We're going to change it to 2016. It is also worth pointing out this miscellaneous HTML box, maybe you're not using Google Analytics. Maybe you're using another stats tool, say statcounter.com, one of my personal favorites, Dave. The code which they give you, instead of trying to go off and then go off and put it in one of the template files, you could just pop it in here instead, and then it will load up in the footer. Technically not the best place for it, but if you want a quick and dirty place option, just go and chuck in some CSS or some other JavaScript or some other content on your Magento 2 website. Miscellaneous HTML option is a great place to put it in. Anyway, coming back onto the topic of the tutorial, copyright, you can change your values in there. Maybe you want to remove it, change the details, whatever you need to do. Just remember, once you've been in major change here, remember to press save config in the top right hand corner. Dave, the good old chestnut of cash management, will also need to click on cash management and clear out our caches. Dave, we like to do this the quick way, so we just choose select tool and submit. It's a lot easier than pressing the different options individually, because let's face it, we all end up clicking on the wrong ones. Now, if we go back to the front end of our Magento website, we right click and hit reload, we'll now see the year has been updated. So for myself, Dave, and of course, Matt, too, we sincerely hope that you have found this video tutorial useful both for you and your business. And with that said, from myself, Matt, and from me, Dave, cheerios. So from myself, Matt, and me, Dave, we hope that you found this video tutorial helpful. If you have, then let us know by leaving a thumbs up on this video below or subscribing to our YouTube channel. We believe to use Magento, you don't need a degree in Nerd, and we've created you over 300 step-by-step -step video tutorials at understandinge.com to help you. In these tutorials, you'll learn how to use Magento with no prior knowledge. How to build a fully responsive Magento website for just $99, which is about 65 quid. How you can use Magento to sell on eBay and Amazon with M2E Pro. And you'll be joined by over 6,000 fellow business owners just like you. And the best part is, it's free to join. So for myself, Matt. And me, Dave. We'll see you there. Cheerios.